hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to make a video on do's and don'ts on makeup so that you can improve your makeup skill and at the same time let me just tell you that i don't consider myself a great makeup artist but somehow i have improved my skill a lot uh, by doing mistakes and uh, we can only learn from our mistakes so there are a few important things that i wanted to share with you so that uh, you can learn from this video and please don't forget to hit the like and bell button so that if i upload a video the notification goes to you straight away and at the same time don't forget to subscribe i need your support and love a lot so that i can grow with you your support um, is extremely important for me to grow further and now without any further ado let's get started so first thing first moisturizer is very much important i'm using johnson and johnson uh, face and body lotion generally this is the one i prefer to use in the uh, winter time because um, this time your skin my skin i mean all of our skin need much moisturizer so first thing first i will keep the moisturizing properly because this is your you are uh, you know your face is the canvas and you are going to draw on it so you have to prepare your skin you have to prep your skin before you start any kind of makeup so i have applied the moisturizer all over my face and i will just wait for a few minutes like two to five minutes and then when the moisturizer will um, be into my skin i will start applying makeup so left side i will go for don'ts and right side i will go for do's so follow the video carefully so that if you are doing any mistake you can cut it right away from it first i'll talk about the foundation this is the foundation i'm going to apply on my left side which is wrong um i mean a wrong shade i'm going to apply this is not my shade at all and the reason i'm, I'm applying this foundation to make you understand that you you are not going to use uh, a wrong shade of foundation why because you need to understand that foundation is not to make your skin fairer like uh, to make to uplift the shade no foundation no way we are going to use for that reason foundation to um, we are using the foundation to make our skin better to uh, make uh, to enhance our skin the shade of our own skin but not to make your skin fairer and fairer this is not the real reason of um, using the foundation um, most of us using the foundation or thinking uh, that uh, foundation we are using to make our skin lighter no this is not the case if you are not if you are doing that please stop right away and now you will see that when i will apply the wrong shade on my skin how horrible it will look like and now i will apply and stay tuned with me for the rest of it Can you see, can you just clearly see that how um, bad it is right now and what exactly shade I'm applying? It's completely a wrong shade of a foundation. This is not the right one for my skin. That's the reason it looks cakey, it looks extra white. It's not matching with my skin of the neck and my real skin color because it's a wrong shade I'm trying to uh enhance uh, my skin with a 
wrong shade so it's extremely no let me apply rest of it and i will write uh, uh i mean i will apply the right shade on my right side so that you can tally both of it now let me apply and come back to you so this is the right shade and right foundation for my skin uh, color this is by uh, max factor 90 amber is the shade don't worry i'll apply uh, after the application i will definitely mention all the details in the description below so that if you want to catch the shade i apply you can definitely get all the information now i will take little bit little amount this is the whole amount i'm going to use on right side of the face so that you can uh, see that how exactly i'm gonna apply and after the application most importantly how it gives me a full coverage with the right kind of colors stay tuned with me and see what exactly and how exactly i apply foundation application is done so this side the wrong foundation this side the right shade of my skin you can clearly see the difference uh, on my face this is horrible and this is the right one because this side is extremely white and this side is the color i wanted to have for my skin which is matching the shade is matching with my neck uh this shade is not clearly matching with my skin tone so if you are also doing the same thing you have to stop it because this is not the right way it looks fake on your face it's so unreal so choosing the right shade of your foundation is extremely important so yeah this is a very important point that choose your foundation let me tell you that i um when i started applying foundation i um, started with the wrong shade and that's the reason i'm making this video you cannot reach to the right shade uh, from the beginning itself but yeah if you did that you are extremely lucky one i couldn't do at the very first place i always started with the wrong shade yeah definitely maybe i was misguided or i couldn't choose the right shade myself and um, but now i'm happy that um, for last few years i have uh, started using the right shade which is appropriate for my skin tone and um, so this was it for the foundation thing now i will go to the compact and you will see which one is the right and which one is the wrong one so this is very much important if you like to do makeup a lot like me you should know which one is the right shade for your skin this is the compact for the wrong side this is maybelline fit me 245 this is a wrong shade for me but still i will apply to make you understand so i'm taking a little bit of it and it has an inbuilt mirror i will apply can see <laughs> it's so funny it's full white the portion is totally white and it's wrong it's completely a wrong shade for my skin now i will do i will apply the right shade on the right hand side this is by rimmel and stay matte the shade 030 uh, caramel i will don't worry i will mention all the shades uh, in the description as i told you it doesn't have a mirror so i'll take again a simple i mean uh, i'll take of it the reason i'm taking uh, more of it because i'm using the same brush and i don't want to uh you know apply the wrong shade of the compact on the right side so now i have taken uh the compact and let me apply on the right side you 
can you just see the difference it's appropriate and the shade I need exactly on my face on my skin so this is the right thing this portion is for the right shade and this portion is for the left one so now you can see that how exactly it looks on your face when you apply something right and something wrong now I will go for eyebrow and I will exactly uh, tell you that how you can choose your shade so that you don't do any mistake. So for the eyebrow, what I'm going to do for the left side, I'm, I'm using uh, the black shadow. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure most of us prefer to use dark colors for your eyebrow. It again will give you a very fake look. So let me just apply the black one generally i don't do and you can see that i'm overdoing it you you are not going to overdo it because taking um too much of it and applying on your brow it will make super fake and it will not give you a natural and real look ever so if you are taking too much of shadow or any kit that you are using for your brows you have to keep it uh, in a moderate way. The moment you start taking a lot of it and applying it, it will make your face super cakey. And at the, at the same time, it will look uh, very unreal. Now, um, applying it again, you can see that it's not looking like a real eyebrow so if you are doing it you have to stop right away now i will apply the real shade for my brow on the right hand side so for the real one what i'm using i'm using this tiny kit by rimmel and uh, i will apply two shade actually it has two shade one dark brown and one uh, light brown so i will mix and match i will take little bit of it and by the help of the same brush i'm going to use it so that you can see that how you can see i have taken a very small portion from the box and i will just fill it So you can clearly see the wrong side is having the horrible eyebrow and the right side this side it's so natural and at the same time the shade I have used it's light brown and little bit of black I have mixed together and I have applied and it, it looks so real this is so real and this is so fake so the one is wrong stop doing that practice Practice will make you better in anything like if you are not a makeup person, but you want to do makeup Keep practicing keep doing mistakes and you will learn from it. Trust me. I have uh, Improved myself by doing mistakes a lot but at the same time you need to do also the right thing you need to know which one is the right way to application of your makeup so this is also important so this kind of video will definitely help you to make your skill better now for the last time you can see that my brow for the left side is completely wrong and the right side is the right shade and the right shape and it's looking so natural so real so yeah this is it for the eyeliner what you need to do you have to understand your shape of the eye if you have a small eye then you have to apply accordingly and if you have a broader eye that you have to practice in a different way for my kind of eyes what i basically do first i need i start from the corner uh, so the right way i'll do on the right hand side but first let me do that wrong one what we generally do a lot so now uh, 
uh, I'm using the same liner for both the side. This is by Rimmel. This is pure uh, black and it's a waterproof liner. So the wrong one, what we generally, uh, like most of us, we do in a wrong way. Uh, and that will be this way. This is a co complete uh, wrong application for your eye. So first I will start the, from the corner. cannot even spot it because it's so light and so mild so that um, it will not just pop out in front of anyone like this one is literally popping out from the eyes and this one is not I'm not done yet so let me complete it This is it. Can you just see the difference? Yeah. This one is the right way, my type of liner. This is the wrong way, which you have to avoid. So this is it. When you apply anything, it should not be this way. So eyebrow and liner, both wrong. Eyebrow and liner, both is right. Can you just see that this is the way you have to do it and you have to practice a lot it will not just come overnight but by doing a lot of practice you can really uh, do it well the way I'm doing it and now I will talk about the last thing which is uh, lipstick lipstick is my most most favorite thing I love applying lipstick so today I'm using uh, the brand Essence and the number 16. If you want to check out the drugstore lipstick that are my most favorite, you can go to my channel and uh, have a look in that particular video. I will definitely share the link in the description. And now let me apply lipstick always you have to apply in a very moderate way if you are trying to overdraw your lip no problem in that but don't do too much so let me do both the ways so that you can understand what i'm exactly trying to give you the tip about so let me just apply and you can see what exactly i'm doing
Can you just spot the difference? This side over to this is the right way to do it. So use the same uh, shade of the lipstick, draw a liner, but little bit. Can you see this is clearly uh, a wrong application and this is the right application. I will end this video today and uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and uh, hope to see you back soon with a new one and till then take care and bye bye. I love you guys a lot. Please let me know about your opinion on this video and see you soon. Bye.